What's going on, y'all? I want to show you how I use the scratch pad in Studio One 3 uh, to create multiple versions of my mixes. And so this is a song from an artist named Just Money. It's going to be on his upcoming album. And I use the scratch pad to make multiple versions of my mixes. Uh, he requested I do a clean version of this song, so I'm going to use the scratch pad to do that. And when I say multiple versions, uh, clean version, acapella, uh, show mix, instrumental, I do all of this in Scratchpad. Uh, it's a new feature in Studio One uh, version three. So uh, the Scratchpad works in conjunction with the arrange track. So the first thing you want to do is have your arranger track open, which is up here. And you open arranger track and you'll see the drop down here with the arranger. So I've got my, I got the song, uh, I got markers for the song for as far as the verse hook. And you want to have that done first. And after that, you can right click on your marker, or no, I'm sorry, in the arrange track. No, it is up here. Where There it is. Uh, create arranger sections from markers. So do that. And now I've got arranger tracks. And now if I open up the inspector, I can see my arranger uh, sections and from here you've got this icon here which is copy to new scratch pad so we're going to take everything in the arranger track and copy it over to scratch pad so you see this opened up here it's going to drag this over to kind of make this half and half so let's oh <laughs> so i took just the start and what i meant to do is do the whole thing so we're just going to undo that and we're going to select everything here and then do the same thing, copy to a scratch pad. Now that I've got it in this scratch pad, we're going to rename the scratch pad and we're just gonna call this clean version. Okay, so let's quickly go over what scratch pad is. The scratch pad is a alternate timeline uh, from your main session. Now, you cannot have different plugins on both sides, whatever plugins are on the left side, or what we'll call the, the main side, that's going to exist in on the in the scratch pad version. So I'm going to pull up the mixer here. So any anything I bypass, anything I enable, anything I do with a plugin on one side, it's going to coexist on the other side. So you can't a and B, I, I would like to see Scratchpad to be updated maybe in the future to where we can A and B different plugins um, on different sides of the timeline. I imagine that would take a lot more uh, computer power, but if right now it is what it is, we can take the take anything event wise from the main part and transfer it to the Scratchpad. We can delete parts and it won't affect the left side. So this is really good for trying out different arrangements. Uh, like I said, for me, in this mix, I'm gonna use this to make a clean version. So I'm going to edit all of the profanity out of the scratch pad version. And you can also export from the scratch pad. So, and you'll also notice while my timeline is on this right side in the scratch pad, you'll notice that my, the bars and the, my bars are blue. And if I'm in the main version, they're white. So that's how you can tell which one you're in. So again, you can remove events, move events around, anything I can move around. For example, I've got the, the track in a, in a folder here, all of the uh, WAV files for the track in this mix. And I can delete this section if I want to. And you can see it didn't delete it from the main part. So the scratch pad is really handy for this as far as me doing my multiple versions. I'll do a scratch pad, you know, like I said, for acapella, instrumental, um, acapella, any different version I want to do. Even if the uh, artists want to try different arrangement, I can do that on the scratch pad without messing up uh, my main version of the mix. Um, and again, like I said, we can... Shift Apple E here. I can export from the scratch pad. Uh, very cool new feature in Studio One version three. So it's gonna kind of be a two part video. So this that's how I go about doing multiple song versions. Uh, I'm gonna take this a step further in the next video and let's, I'm gonna look at the new 
editing features in Studio One version 3.2 as I'm going to use all of them, all of the new editing features as I make the clean version of this song. All right, I'll catch y'all next time.